I want to continue with the reactive extensions for C sharp and I would like to talk about the replay subject. So let's get started. So if you uh, know that in previous video I talked about a subject and as you can see what it will happen is once you subscribe to it only that value will get printed. And so we are subscribing it here and after that we are only sending 567. So the output should just be 567. So let me just run this quickly and show it to you. Uh, here you can see the output is just 567. So oh, that's all good. But suppose you have a situation where you would like to uh, receive uh, pretty much everything that the subject has sent uh, and not just something once you started to subscribe to it. So the easy way to do that is to do something called a replay subject. So you just change it to replay subject. Obviously it will need more memory because now it is going to store in memory everything that it has sent. So now it should print all of them. So let me uh, just kind of show you uh, the output here. And here you can see it has sent 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 5, 7. So that's all good. And the other thing you can do is you can control a few parameters uh, to this constructor and one of the parameters is just like the buffer size, how many things you can store in the buffer. So in this example, I'm going to change it to two. So you can think, see it will only have two values uh, in there uh, and then five, six, six, seven. So let me just run this. So since you can see the buffer size is only two, it should have uh, these two values uh, because it can only hold two and then uh, whatever it is being sent five six seven so that's great and then the other thing you can do uh, instead of just the buffer size you can specify a time window as well and uh, you can declare a time window uh, basically like this uh, so the time window is about 500 milliseconds so it will store only things with the last 500 milliseconds so you can see the way I've constructed this uh, I send 1 2 3 4 then sleep for 200 milliseconds 2 3 4 200 4 5 so it's like uh, only two values can be stored because the last one is about 600 milliseconds away so now the output should only have two values as well so let me run this again and you can see yeah, it has only two values. So yeah, these are some of the ways you can use the replay subject. And I'll make some other videos with other types of subjects. Thank you very much and you have a great day.